When our receptionists try to log in, almost every time this happens, they click log in. and Cloudbeds asks them to verify. We used to have it set up to go to their phone number, but some of them didn't have American phone numbers that would work, or um, they would break their phone or lose their phone or just have issues with their phone and they couldn't fill this out. So we would get phone calls at like 8 a.m. to have to create a brand new login for them, which wasn't working well for us. So we did this, we connected every single person to our hostile Google Voice number. So now all they have to do is click new tab, go to our shortcut to Google Voice messages, click on the recent message and copy the last number. And that usually works. We just press submit. Every once in a while this number doesn't work and we just resend the SMS. But let's see. It works and they don't have to look at their phone, turn on their phone, anything like that. It's very simple. I highly recommend it. I'd say before we set up Google Voice to be our verification method for all logins, we would get uh, a phone call at 8 a.m. maybe once every two weeks and have to log on to cloud beds remotely. Um, I have received zero phone calls since with problems. So let me just go back and show you how we set up our receptionist and all user logins generally um, at HostelCat in Las Vegas. So if you're an administrator uh, that can make logins, first of all, you can go to manage here and then users here on the left. And our system is to add user pick their real first name, so first, uh, real last name, or sometimes just reception. And we always like to set up our email. We don't want um, emails to be sent to the receptionist's personal emails. Uh, we'd rather just go straight to our inbox since our inbox is always uh, locked into 100% of the time. So we'll pick a uh, one Gmail address that we all have. Uh, so we'll just say Gmail address, if that was our thing, plus uh, some number. So for example, maybe we've had a lot of receptionists. So this is the 64th receptionist um, at gmail.com. So you can do this plus thing to get the um, emails to get sent to gmail address at gmail.com and I think you have about 300 up to 300 different variations where this system will still work. I think yeah Cloudbeds told us to do this if we didn't want to use people's personal emails um, and of course you select different roles that uh, have different permissions so we always select receptionists and then when you're done, click add new user. A few more notes. So if this email address matches someone else's email address with an enabled or active login, or even if they match an inactive email address, when you press add new user, it will not work. You can never reuse the same exact email address. Also, if you want only administrators, high level managers, or whoever to be able to create logins, you control that here on the left in the roles area. So we don't have it set up so other receptionists can make new logins for a new receptionist. Also, just out of necessity, we usually wait until a trainee's last training shift to make a new login for them. We find that works better for us. It preserves some of our email addresses for people who are only actually going to work their first solo shift. Um, so that's just what we do here at HostelCat.
after we set up the new user login, we instruct the receptionist to do the following. They find a welcome to CloudBits email. They see that their email login is up top and their actual name is in the middle of the email and they set their password according to CloudBits restrictions. Now they have to set up the verification. We do text message, type in our Google Voice phone number. You find Google Voice by going to settings and at the top of settings of Google Voice is your phone number. Type that in, click text me, of course find the verification code and type it in, copy paste, verify. Then it gives you your unique emergency code. So we use the snipping tool to take a screenshot of that and save it to one of our shared cloud drives so that we'll always have a backup code. And then complete verification. And now they have a fully set up username. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button if you want to keep receiving more videos and maybe become a CloudBeds expert one day. And don't forget to press the like button if you're finding these videos useful. Thank you.